Well, following a sold-out Auckland season last year and a tour of America, world-renowned New Zealand dance company Black Grace are bringing their critically acclaimed show as night falls across the country. Now, to tell us more, please welcome to the cafe, Sean McDonald and Zoe Visvanathan. Yes! I'm to start with you. You have been with Black Grace since its inaugural performance back in 1995. Yeah, way back then. Dancing life, that is extraordinary. Um, what do you think, what has been so special about it what makes it a little bit different that's made it sort of stay around for so long i think the work it's just really high intensity athletic yeah it's accessible it's not too weird but you know it's, it's a says something it's the right amount of weird isn't it yeah i think you need to have a little bit of weird but it's, you know, <laughs> absolutely people can still relate to it it's there's an in for us to yeah so if you've been there 22 years when did you start when you were three or something oh thanks keep it coming <laughs> <laughs> obviously keeps you young <laughs> yeah. uh, it's easier to keep going i find right once i stop then i stop so just keep it going and it's all good. And Zoe, you're a full-time member of the company and you've toured extensively as well. Interesting hearing about the American tour. How is Black Grace perceived overseas? What's its reputation like? Oh, it has a great reputation um, overseas and you know we go to the US every second year usually. Uh, we tour quite a lot um, overseas. I think the things that we're talking about within the work, they're really universal ideas. So although it's got a really kind of Pacific flavour to it, the dance itself, um, people can really relate to it. Uh, we go into universities and schools and different groups and take workshops and um, the same thing. There's, there's a real rhythmic nature to the work. It's really, really unique and different, but in general, every, everyone can relate to what we're doing and what we're trying to say and um, the choreographer, Neil Yeremia's ideas and what he wants to portray. Actually, we should probably find stage. out a little bit more about what the show is actually about. So it's set to the music of Vivaldi, Sean, is that right? Yep. So Vivaldi and... Which is beautiful. Yeah. He, Neil was listening to lots of music, New, New Zealand music, but Vivaldi kept resonating. It doesn't sound contemporary. Him. When you think contemporary dance, you don't think Vivaldi. Yeah, but it's, it's just very... It's passionate and it's so deep. There's lots of, sort of layers to it. Yeah. So, yeah, Neil was just um, reading newspapers in the last year and he just got concerned with what was happening in the world. You know, the Syrian crisis, the refugees, no one wanting them. Trump. <laughs> know what was happening there, what he was inciting, and, and even back here, just like the homelessness and the disparity between one level of society and the other level of society, and just that, that sense of community. So he kind of got concerned with kind of how we were relating to one another, one another, treating each other. And it all sounds so heavy, but he wanted to give something back, something that was kind of, he says, the, um, the quote, exchanging beauty for ashes. That's you know, nice. brilliant, yeah, mm. brilliant context for the yeah. show. And it looks very physically demanding. Would that be an understatement, Zoe? <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, yeah, it's very, 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 very physical. Did you actually train for before going to, to America by running up, doing hill sprints at Mount Eden? Our studio is right beside Mount Eden, and that's one of, the, um, one of our warm-ups, um, is to run up. Mount Eden. Run up Mount Eden. Yeah. Jeez, we, just we to warm up. Warm up. <laughs> There's the warm up before the day's rehearsal. But as esteemed yeah. leaders of the uh, of the company, you know, in the sort of more experienced category, do you not <laughs> just get to send the younger ones up the mountain and do you get to stay behind? Yes. Yes, we do. We do. We, do. we <laughs> eat them on. We, we often sit yeah. on the bikes go. in the studio. Up you go. Yeah. 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 One yeah. more time. You can yeah. be on the yeah. bikes yeah. one day too, kids. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. speaking of which, how did you get started, actually, Sean, into Black Grace? I mean, obviously you had to audition, but what were you doing before that? Um, I won an underage rage, like a you know, school disco. Right, okay. you know, I, I don't know if I was any good, I just had heaps of energy, I think. So. And yeah. what sort of dance were you doing? Oh, just crazy, kind of yeah. moving crazy. <laughs> it was, it was, I wouldn't call it anything. Right. I won 100 bucks. Nice. And um, then I studied behind Neil, and that's how we met. Brilliant. First off, and then, yeah. Well, and there you go. Call. So yeah. Zoe, tell me a little bit about the show. Um, when can we, uh, how can we get details about the tour and where it's going to be and when it's going to be? You're in Taranaki tomorrow night? We're in Taranaki tomorrow night, um, and we perform until the 6th of July. We're going to eight centres around the country. Um, all, the, all the details are on our website. Oh, it's always worth seeing Black, worth Grace. Thing, Black yes, and, Grace. And did you do an underage rage to get into Black Grace? I didn't. I no? didn't even know what an underage rage was. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> so what did you do? So I just had a, just the usual audition. Right. But um, growing up, just did a little bit of dance and heaps of sport. Nice. Um, and I think, you know, the... 
the movement style behind Black Grace and behind Neil's um, work. It's really, really grounded. It's really, really sport orientated, which gives it its uniqueness as well. Brilliant. Um, Inspirational, yeah. I think. And good. And good luck for the tour, the seven night tour. Yes. Congratulations, guys. Great to have you on the cafe Thanks. as well. Black Grace as night falls, seven centre New Zealand tour, as we heard, kicks off tomorrow in Taranaki. For all tour details and tickets, head to blackgrace.co.nz. Give them a round of applause, everyone. Thank you so much, guys. Awesome.